Hi, I'm Stuart McConaughey with Titans of CNC, and today we're going to be testing out some advanced kettle metal tooling in G10 composite. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Hey, before we get started, if you like what we're doing, hit subscribe. If you like the video, hit like. If you have something that you want to see us do in a future video, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. You might see it in a future vlog. 10 years ago, when we first started this job, our runtime was at 50 minutes. When making the video of cutting G10 composites, our runtime was at 22 minutes. And now, with Kenna Metal Tooling, our runtime is now down to 8 minutes and 46 seconds. We always try to advance the programs and reprogram stuff as time goes by so that way our shop can compete. And today I'm gonna go over every tool, all the speeds and feeds and everything that you need to cut G10 at a high level. All right, so the first tool is this Kenna Metal Dodeca 3-inch Mini. Now you might remember this tool. This is the exact tool that Titan used in his Inconel tutorial. We use it in a wide range of materials, all the way from Inconel to G10, titanium, steels, it'll do it all. Now this tool is I'm most excited for. This is the Burr Style End Mill. This thing is awesome. As you can see, it has a diamond coating, it has a bunch of crazy flutes, and especially designed for cutting all types of composite materials. G10, carbon fiber, different resins, fiberglass. This tool is specially designed for it. You'll actually notice that we do something a little different. Most people cut G10 dry. We actually cut it with coolant. We use Synergy 735 coolant. This provides great lubricity for the tools and the coolant keeps the glass particles from floating in the air. It actually takes the glass vapor out of the air and washes it down to the bottom of the machine and the shop stays nice and clean. Our third tool is the down style cut end mill. If you notice, you can see that the flutes are angled the wrong way. This is actually so that way it will take the burr and aim it down and push it down into the bottom of the material. So that way there's no burr on the top of the part. This is an awesome finishing tool for composites. We love it. Here's a cool note. A lot of people don't want to cut G10 and composites because it takes glass and puts it in your machine. We've actually sectioned this machine off to only cut G10 and composites. This machine is actually from 2004. This is Titan's very first mill. Now we're in 2019 and the only thing we've had to fix is the little brass strip in the back of the way cover. Every few years we'll change it out and that's it. And now we're making lots of parts that people turn down. And that's just more money for us. Now T4, this is the DFSP drill. This is the best drill I've ever used for G10. It goes completely right through one shot, 
chips flying out. This thing is amazing. Now, T5 and T6 are actually the same tool, but a different size. We have the Kenametal K10 three flute drill. This drill is specially designed for high material removal, and that's what does best in G10. Last but not least, we have our 3 8 chamfer tool. We use this chamfer tool just to clean up the edges of our parts and put a 10 thousandths chamfer on it, so that way it nicely falls into our jaws for op beef. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. If you want to compete and cut G10 and cut composites, these are the tools to use. Boom.